My name is Kim Jolly. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Springfield, Missouri. For today's quick tutorial, I'm going to attempt to loosely recreate this card. I had posted this on a few Facebook groups uh, that are, have Stampin' Up! demonstrators in them, and they had asked me how I did this. Um, the card I'm going to do today will not be an exact copy of it, but it will show you the technique and hopefully give you some tips and tricks. Now, if you have not seen one of my prior videos called Not Your Mother's Shaving Cream Technique, I would suggest you watch at least the first section of it because it will give you the information you need for the base layer. Now, I'm going to speed up parts of this so you won't have to go through the exact same thing that I already taught in the previous video. Um, but I will tell you, I'm using watercolor paper today. I have taped it down with low tack tape to my clipboard, which is what I use when I'm using wet media. I will be using several uh, stamp pads, and I will show you the colors as I go. I'm also using shaving cream, ordinary shaving cream, and I've got a few scraping tools here. I've got clear blocks in various sizes that are actually going to be used as kind of like paintbrushes. I have some actual paintbrushes for touch-ups on the flowers toward the end. So let's get going. Now that the background is ready, we are ready to start stamping. I'm going to start with Melon Mambo and the two smaller tulip flowers that are in this set. You do have a nice larger one also. Okay, well, using the Melon Mambo, I'm going to go ahead and stamp a few background tulips. Then I'm going to go ahead and take the top layer, ink it up with the same ink, for this next part we're going to stamp the stems. Now I didn't put uh, leaves on this, you can do that if you want to. Um, I just wanted the stems. I was actually inspired by another artist uh, I follow on Instagram and Facebook and I'm going to put a link to her information below also. This is wild wasabi that I'm stamping with here. Okay, once I got done with that Let's go ahead and make sure it's a little bit dry. Now 
Now, once I got to this step on my other card, I really did not like the way you could see the background, um, see the, the blue background through the flowers. So I decided to come back in and deepen it up with some Berry Burst ink. So I'm going to be applying this ink with a small paintbrush, and I will be using um, some re-inker that I'm just going to put in the lid. Be using re-inker and a little bit of a wet paintbrush. And I'm going to speed up this process as it will take a couple of minutes to get this all covered. I'm actually coming back in with a little bit of a baby wipe to soften that. I'm going to go ahead and stamp over this and see if I can recover a few of the shadows. I think that looks pretty good. I also just kind of water that down a little bit. Just to blend it. I didn't really want this to look perfect. I wanted it to look painterly. I wasn't sure I liked the flowers at first, but I think I do now. For this next part, I'm going to be using Marina Mist, and this is going to be more of a watercolor application, similar to what I was doing with the flowers. Only I'm just going to be just going to be using ink I put in the lid here. All you have to do is squeeze the pad like that, and it will usually give you some ink to paint with. I'm going to be using just a tad bigger brush. I 
get me a little bit of a wash here. And then I'm just going to come in behind these to deepen it. I even dip mine in the corner sometimes just to get a little darker. Don't be afraid to use your fingers. Or a baby wipe. think with this one I am close to being done other than putting a sentiment and mounting it right here is where I've probably overworked the paper just a bit it tend watercolor paper tends to peel pill just a little bit um, if you overwork it and I did in that spot Now, to get the speckles that I have on here, I'll show you how I did that. Take my Berry Burst Reinker, put a little on there, wet it down a little bit. Get some on the brush. The higher you hold it, the smaller the droplets will be. That one's kind of big, but that's okay. This is art. It never turns out the same. Use a dry paper towel to get some of the extra up. If you don't want that big drop there, you could even use a little water in your paintbrush to kind of blot it. But I, I rather like it. I'm going to leave it. I will sign mine or initial it on the bottom sometimes when I'm particularly happy with one. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I will have the finished product up on my blog along with the other one. Um, thank you for watching.